Hey guys, it's Kimberly Clark, and welcome to another episode of Ooh, What Happened to Your Face? We just got back from the Women's March in Washington. It was unbelievable, amazing. It was crazy and outrageous and phenomenal and obvious. Please check out my vlog video and interviews from the march. And there's some amazing people and amazing speeches and amazing stuff that happened. And uh, it was insanely important. And basically, we're going to keep doing it until the rights of everyone are represented. And this world is changed for the better. Anyway, so I have to talk about what happened to my face really quickly. I've got this, like, very rickety tripod set up. Let me talk about these earrings really quickly. They are by Darlinda Just Darlinda, my fabulous glitter tampon earrings. They were a huge hit, but they are clip-ons, and they were killing me. Ah! Ow! <laughs> FYI, the clip-on versions of these earrings are super heavy-duty. They last. They did not fall off once. I love these. Love them. Get them at Darlinda's Etsy store. Yay! I just want to talk about, like, a couple things. So the foundation I use, it held up really well. I'm super happy with it. I'm definitely shiny. I didn't bring any touch-up powder, and I didn't really touch up at all. So this is, like, the amount of shine from an entire day. I basically put this face on starting at, like, 5 a.m. It is now 5.30 p.m. So this is, like, a full like 12 hour face, FYI. The Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector by Becca I think was really helpful in keeping this face not totally crazy, but this is like full makeup shine mode, not breakdown mode, which I think is really key. The Krylon TV paint sticks are fabulous. They're just really long lasting and super thick. So they don't like break down the way that a thinner oily or water-based foundation would. They're just like super heavy duty. So these Krylon TV paint sticks, I use the shades Ton Chi and TV White to do my base and my cream highlights. For blush today, I'm wearing a combo of some blushes. This is the Coral Blush from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palette. And again, that beautiful Fashion Fair blush in the shade Tangelo, that beautiful orange. I love it. It lasted so well. The eyeshadow I want to talk about. You know I got these Makeup Geek shadows. I wore this mint shade Fantasy in a Get Ready With Me, and I was like okay with it. Today, all over the lid, I'm wearing In the Spotlight, this beautiful foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Girl, I don't know if I like this. Look at what happened. First of all, this, this is, look at this. That is creased. That is full on creased. I don't remember the last time I had an eyeshadow really do that. Like this is, I put it over my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk as a base. Honestly, it was like getting a little patchy as I was even applying, like as soon as I applied it, I noticed it was like a little spotty. But look, this is like full on creased. Again, I don't know if, if I, maybe there's a better way to use these. I feel like using them naked on the eye without a primer or anything is maybe the best for some reason, but like that's just not how I wear my makeup. So I feel like the foiled thing is not for me. If you guys know or have ways, again, of wearing these Makeup Geek foiled shadows. Everyone has raved about them. I don't think they're made for me. I think I like a powdery pigmented eyeshadow that I could really pack on. These are more like swipey situation. Look, the proof is in the pudding. It's broken down. Why'd that happen? Look at the Kat Von D shades on the brow. Those are still great. I used some shades from the uh, Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette. Succubus, that like beautiful reddish orange shade that I've hit pan on. That's like kind of the base for a lot of the crease work. Ugh, Makeup Geek, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Lips, again, super, super happy with this. This is the shade Cherry Blossom by Colored Rain. Talked about this in my 24-hour concert, What Happened to Your Face, where I talked about wearing this through Taylor Max 24 Decade History of Popular Music, which you can watch down below. I'll link it, and I'll pop it up right here somewhere. And this is, like, the perfect matte red long-wearing lipstick. It's, like, the beautiful tone. It's bluish red. It's just fabulous. I love it. I did have to take off some gunkiness in the center of my lips. Midday, I reapplied it once. This is one reapply. I think it's amazing. I've got a little bit of wear, like little smudging on the end there, but I think this red lip is fabulous. I feel like red lips are hard to wear for a very long time, and if you get a good liquid to matte red lipstick, you gotta love it. And I know Stephanie Nicole loves this shade and this formula, and so whatever she loves, I love, also love, because I love her. Anyway, I gotta go because I gotta eat dinner. I haven't like eaten anything since 9 a.m. So it's been a day. It's been a fabulous, valid, important day. I'm so proud, I'm so happy. And I wanna give a big thank you shout out to Tina and Timberly for helping me make my face last and hold all my shit while I was interviewing random people. Thanks ladies! Yay! Woo!
I also want to say thank you to all the people, lovely subscribers that I met today. You guys are so awesome. I can't believe you found me. Like, that's fucking rad. Just amazing. Just, I'm, I mean, I had big hair. I had the biggest hair. I'm pretty sure. I'm Kimberly Clark. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this series. Check out the other videos in this series. Fund me. Give me money. Give me money to make these. I just launched my Patreon campaign. You can help support these videos and help me get a better freaking camera and a better stupid tripod to travel with and help me go places and do awesome things and talk about awesome shit and like be a fucking rad makeup wearing drag queen feminist person. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Why? outro. You just gave Ashley Judd a run for her money. <laughs>